so because I I just started, wanted to start with you know if everyone is familiar with code for Greenville because um, we had um, or even how many people are familiar with civic tech in general? <laughs> and have you heard of code for Greenville? Um, we had a group uh, that was a civic tech brigade, part of the Code for America. And the uh, fun picture, I went and found um, Jeremy uh, White, who was part of that project. He actually has, I found, he has a whole post explaining that uh, project. That was fun to find. There wasn't so fun LinkedIn, so. <laughs> um, but, so we had, um, when I first got involved, we had that trolley project going on, uh, which was back in the day when the downtown trolley didn't, we didn't have any way of knowing when it was coming or um, we, um, the, we had multiple teams working on uh, apps and, and that was like the beginning of Civic Tech here and uh, we also had projects for the SE Codes pilot that we had the students doing uh, Civic Tech projects but um, then um, last year uh, we had to make a change because Code for America disbanded all the brigades across the country, which was a big shock. But, um, and so now we have two entities. We've got uh, Hack Greenville Labs, which if you're in the Hack Greenville Slack, presumably you know, there's a channel, you can get involved in projects. And those are non-civic tech projects. The civic tech projects, which is focused on collaborating with the government, like we did with the trolley um, project. We were collaborating with the uh, cities transportation department with the SE codes who were collaborating with the library and um, so now we because we didn't have any active local civic tech projects we decided to merge that uh, focus of civic tech with code with the Carolinas well it's now called code with the Carolinas it was code for the Carolinas so there's, it's a, a lot of fun because code for America said no one can be code for anymore <laughs> So that was how we ended up like dropping code for Greenville and uh, code, with, code for the Carolinas became code with the Carolinas. But anyways, but it's code with the Carolinas is a regional group. So they're primarily based out of North Carolina, but that represents South Carolina. And we've actually got quite a few people coming from Greenville, but it's you know it's primarily remote. Not surprising when the projects are run remote um, since. Um, you know, they have occasionally have a, a local group get together, but um, since we're coordinating regional projects, and so code code with the Carolinas has two primary projects going right now that um, uh, you're interested in doing some volunteering, and uh, they're basically like more data focused. So like you know when we were running, we used to regularly have code for Greenville meetups here. People would show up and say, oh, I program in this language, and do you have any projects in this language? But it doesn't really work that way with civic tech projects. It's like, this is what we're trying to achieve, and then it's like from the ground up. So that means like, you know, UX research, or, you know, it, it, you just, you're not necessarily going to do any programming. It just kind of depends where, um, and so right now, the two projects are um, the Zoning Atlas project. So it's a both of the projects that are active right now are national projects. And we're doing North Carolina and South Carolina in the national projects. So the Zoning Atlas um, involves just working in spreadsheets and basically creating a clean data set. So, you know, I've, it, 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 if you need, I, I think, Generally speaking, like maybe developers don't couldn't have like too much data experience. <laughs> like it's it's a good way to kind of like broaden your experience. But so we're creating a national data set, you know, gathering data manually from around the country about um, zoning in in every jurisdiction. And so it's you know gathered in all these jurisdictions, not in a consistent way. So we're creating a consistent you know, consistent data set for the entire country, but in just we're focused on North Carolina and South Carolina. <laughs> so it's like kind of a, you know, lightweight tech project. So you're you're jumping in and getting into a spreadsheet and, uh, and then, you know, going to websites and manually gathering all the data for the jurisdictions. Uh, there's, if you have any interest in GIS map layers, there are 
there's some of that. Uh, there's a little Python scripting. Uh, so, but for the most part, it's it's just doing the work of gathering all the data and creating a consistent data set. And the other one, the other project is the Open Sidewalks project, and it's working with a, a mapping tool that again is a national uh, tool, and we're doing areas in North Carolina and soon South Carolina. But it's the purpose of it is to create a, a, a map that if you're have, um, like in a wheelchair and you need you want to know whether or not this route is wheelchair friendly that you can actually get where you want to go. So we're we're going through and analyzing the maps, like going through and saying, okay, I need to change how this is indicated on the map to show. So we're like looking at photos and of the curb <laughs> and updating like the, the map data set so that ultimately it becomes a hosted uh, resource for someone to um, you know, be able to get around. So those are the two big projects. And then, I mean, there's, not surprisingly, we've had smaller projects of like doing the website for Code with the Carolinas, which has been kind of redone a couple times, depending on the volunteers. <laughs> and, um, and then there's a list of potential projects, too. So um, there's always you know, more more coming. And, but we've had, like I said, we've had people from Greenville show up, which is cool. And um, I'm just doing a teaser. We've got regular um, events. The, 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 the individual projects are like meeting twice a month, and we have like regular um, meetups, and they've started doing a FOSS share, you know, open source tool, so that's cool. But uh, all of these events are feeding into that uh, event channel on Slack, so um, if, you, if you, any of them sparks your interest, you can sign up on the meetup. And it's a little confusing <laughs> because there's like four meetup groups because we weren't the only group that merged, so each, our like group still exists. <laughs> our, our Code for Green Little group exists as Code with Carolina slash South Carolina. So there's like a the couple of different jurisdictions like that. So like if you go, you know, ideally you would RSVP to the South Carolina. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. <laughs> so anyways, if you have any questions, let me know. And just. Um, I want to make sure everybody knows we've got the civic tech stuff going on. Thanks. Sure.